Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one use case which you are asking for long is that how can I showcase some of the majors only in the grand total. We will specifically take example of the matrix visual where you have a column, let's say category and inside that you have let's say majors like gross net discount percentage etc. And only gross is distributed by category, not net and discount percentage. To understand it a little better, let me take you through the, my Power BI file. And inside this Power BI file, let me showcase you one example. And in this example, as you can see, the data here in the matrix visual, we have brand on the rows, category on the column. But our majors like net, margin percentage and discount all are not distributed on category. Only gross is distributed on category. How can we achieve this? Now the answer for this question is calculation groups. Calculation groups can help us to achieve this. Now to achieve this, what you have to do is you have to go to your model view and create a calculation group. And this calculation group will appear under the model on the data pane. And your calculation group will have special calculation items. One calculation item would be very simple, the major. But all other calculation items will try to stop their display or category which is on the column. Now if you have more than one column fields, you have to put them is in scope using OR operation. You can see in this code we are not displaying anything when item category is in scope. Now I would like to take you through this complete journey. So let's start this journey by adding a new page. In this new page, I will add matrix visual. And in this matrix visual, I add brand on the rows and category on the columns. Finally, I add net on the values. You can see the net distributed along brand and category. When I add gross, you can see net and gross both inside the category. Now you know we cannot move them up. In the past we have used calculation group to move them up. Second is there is no option to say that you showcase the grand total only for gross or net. We do have option if we have multiple levels to disable the column subtotals at particular level but we don't have an option for particular measure I'll only show column subtotal. In the absence of this option, calculation group is going to help us out. So let's start our journey of creating calculation group and I'm going to move to model view for that. I'm back on my model view and here in the model view and the data pane model tab, I can create calculation groups by right clicking create new calculation group. Also on the home tab or home ribbon, I have this new calculation group option which I can click and create new calculation group. Let me click on new calculation group there and I'll create a new calculation group. It already added a calculation item for me but before I move forward I would like to rename it. I clicked on that and let me rename it as GT GT selective CG calculation group and press enter. So I have a calculation group which I've created new and inside that I already have a calculation item. I will modify this calculation item. So the first calculation item is very simple. I'll use gross and I'll replace the selected major with the static calculation of gross by using gross major. Let me press enter so that the calculation will get committed and I'll get my first calculation item. I would like to have more calculation items. So I'll click on the right hand side calculation items. I get this UI where my calculation item displayed in order and I'll click on new calculation item. And here, let me add another calculation item and the calculation item I want to add is net. And this time my calculation will have little difference. That is if is in scope item category, then blank else net. So if the item category is used in the visual and that is in the scope, then I will be showing blank. Otherwise, I will be showing net. I got my second calculation item. Now let's add few more 
So again calculation items, new calculation item and I'll add my third calculation item which is discount percentage. I would like to do similar kind of calculation so let me paste that and in this one I will use discount percentage measure. So let me choose discount percent measure. So if it's in scope item category blank otherwise discount percentage I got my third one. Now in this time when I'm creating it moved up and I'll keep it here because you will see one change when we go back. So I'm keeping is in the calculation order of all this. Let me create a new calculation item which is margin percentage and here I'll use margin percentage. I got margin percentage and now margin percentage is after gross and I'm not changing these order I'm keeping them as it. If required I can enable the dynamic string formatting to get my string formatting or I can disable that maybe I can write it down let's say or this one can we write it down let's say as 0.00% and press enter. I'm entering it only for one and we will see what happens because of that. So let's go back to the report view. Now we need to modify this matrix. In a matrix you will still need at least one major if you want to use calculation. So case you that let me remove both the majors from the values and let me bring in my new calculation group. So my new calculation group GT selective I am going to bring below the category and if I expand that from this expand all icon you will see an error and this error is because there is no major right now. So let me drag at least one major from my majors which are lying inside the major table and you will see the data is appearing but what you will see is only gross is appearing and there is no GT. Now in this case to get the grand total I need to move my calculation group up and I moved it. Moved I move it first of all you will observe the order the discount is first gross is second margin percentage is third and margin percentage is formatted correctly not the discount and the net is fourth. This is the same order what we got there so order is important and when I expand it you will see one more difference that the discount percentage is coming before then the gross is coming and gross is distributed for category. The total of the gross is coming. Then we are getting margin percentage and net percentage. So the order is important. What is the difference between the order of these two? Can I further change and bring few more things in the front like discount percentage? So to understand that let's go back to the model view and let's check the other one also. So if you see the GT only the previous one gross net margin and margin percentage were in this order and that is why so the gross was coming first and after that there were no distribution of net margin and gross. So for time being let me showcase you if I what happens if I bring discount at the end and let me also reorder it. Let me also bring margin as the third one to create it very similar to what we have there. Also I would like the format for discount percentage so let me Click on yes on dynamic string format and give a format here 0.00 percentage. So 0 decimal 00 percentage. And let's go back and look what happens in my visualization. And you see I am able to replicate the visualization as is. And I am also getting the format which I need. Let's go back and play around. So I am going back now. And when I go back this time. I click on the calculation item and I reorder it. So I would like net the undistributed one before gross margin net margin percentage gross and discount percentage. Let me create this order and let's go back to the report view. And now you can see net and margin percentage totals are before gross is after and distributed and discount percentage is at the end again non-distributed only a total. So these complex things are possible using calculation code. Is it only possible in the columns or can I use it in rows also? So let's try out little different combinations with this now. Let's duplicate this page and let's try to swap category and the brand. Major also has to move because category is in scope for all these rows. For all those rows those cannot come. 
and in the total we are not having all those majors here in the row wise so first of all let me move my majors to the row and that too on the top of category and now you are able to see the majors on the row and let me expand that and now you can see net margin gross distributed and discount percentage without distribution so this is one kind of ui which you can get and here look at this very carefully you have major first and then you have distribution and distribution of only few majors let me simplify it a little bit for you by removing the brand you are seeing that you are seeing margin you are seeing gross as a major and distribution of gross and discount percentage whenever you have such kind of a requirement where you want to create even a balance sheet kind of a ui where you have majors a lot of majors only few places where you have the distribution you can also achieve the similar kind of stuff here i would like to show you one more case where you know right now it is appearing that okay gross is distributed and others are coming is everything can also be below as a grand total if i need that kind of a ui so let me duplicate this and instead of this selective calculation group let me use the other calculation group the previous one and remove this one and again expand it now here you can see the gross and the distribution and all three like grand totals so all those uis the complex uis which you can think of calculation groups can make it possible now you have seen the example how calculation groups enable us to create complex prior to that i have also created a couple of videos where i've showcased you more complex uis and i'll provide the link in the url calculation group is an amazing feature of microsoft power bi it is available with microsoft fabric direct lake mode also and my advice would be go ahead and explore this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you